de ces machines. Health and safety in different stores in different countries is very different from one to the next. We do a lot of pre-planning, making sure that fire system, the health and safety, the build is all within the health and safety requirements of that country and that store. À titre d'exemple, euh, le système d'extinction en France n'utilise pas le gaz, utilise en fait ce qu'on appelle les sprinklers, donc à eau, puisqu'en France n'est pas autorisé l'utilisation en fait de ce gaz là. Le montage s'est déroulé rapidement, hein, puisqu'à peu près, euh, en... pour monter un tornado, il fallait à peu près 10 jours. Donc ce serait vraiment euh, très très rapide. À partir du moment où les machines étaient arrivées en pièces détachées, la construction s'est faite de manière totalement, totalement fluide. We would mark out the floor, we would level the bases. The structure of the machines would be put up first. Then the, the electrics and, and all the other components would be fitted and tested. In terms of the installation itself, obviously that has an impact on the store's operation. And it's important for us to recognize that and to try and work with it. And what we do with IKEA France, for example, is they will tell us basically when they want the installation to begin. And they will choose a time of year or a time of the commercial calendar when that's going to have the least impact on their operation. On l'a installé entre août et fin novembre, grosso modo. Et donc c'est important de le faire dans une période de faible volume, puisque on démonte des racks pour installer les tornados. If we start the installation, then it, it could be causing a problem for the customer. On est dans une surface commune quand même, parce qu'on a IKEA qui travaille et en même temps la société Tornado. We will stop work during the day and say, okay, we will now switch on to nights. So there's a number of ways that we can um, adapt our processes in order to try and minimize the impact on the store. Tornado was a solution originally, it was just meant for kitchen doors. Now we've got a situation where IKEA have identified other areas that we can use it for. Yo creo que los tornados, eh, el mejor uso que se les puede sacar es para los artículos que venden poco, para lo que llamamos los low sellers, que en lugar de estar ocupando un sitio en el racking. We use um, a, a tool that has been designed by IKEA, um, it's a tornado calculation tool. And the aim of the tool is to give the, the store um, a very accurate um, description of how many different kinds of articles will go into the machine um, and make sure that they've got the right articles, for example, kitchens in kitchen machines and full serve in full serve machines. It's a guide rather than a strict discipline of what you need to put in there, but the, the guide has been put together um, based on the results of installing machines in over 45 stores in seven different countries with lots of different Um, things taken into account. Ahora mismo estamos ahorrando entre 25.000 y 30.000 euros al mes gracias al tornado. You end up throwing so many things away in recovery because you do not have the space to store things. Nos permite guardar un gran volumen de piezas y la consecuencia de eso es un gran ahorro de dinero a la hora de poder disponer de esas piezas para ahorrar dinero y evitar devoluciones de clientes. Cuanto más dinero vamos ahorrando, más me gusta la máquina. Once the machines have been built, that's 50% of the work done. We then move on to the really important part, which is the training. When we first commission the machines, we will take the group of people who are going to be the super users, those with, a, if you like, a higher competency level with the machine, and we do some intensive training with them. As super user, I have a wide-ranging schooling, to then also mechanical problems directly on the tornado. It's the power to do the necessary to make the machines function pour que les collaborateurs sur un plan pratique, je dirais, aider, épauler, pour qu'ils soient moins, qu'ils appréhendent moins le problème de la machine. Ça, c'est les humains. Finir les formations, continuer les formations avec les collaborateurs, améliorer avec les collaborateurs l'utilisation de la machine. Je dirais qu'à 80%, mes super users sont capables aujourd'hui de régler les problèmes. Reste à peu près ces 20% où là, on fait appel aux services techniques. The main advantage that we have over our, uh, our rivals is that we can remotely access uh, any machine anywhere in the world um, at any time of the day. The webcams play a big part. What's on the tornadoes we see at home? So if I'm at home, I can sign on to any site um, and fix the problem. So it's just like standing here. And an area that we're spending a lot of time and money on is making sure that we've got people, resources and technical specification in the local language that's required. 
Das äh, Training der Tornado erfolgt in Deutsch. Wir haben deutsche Mitarbeiter von Constructor, die unsere Mitarbeiter äh, in die Technik der Tornado einweisen. Wir haben Super User und User, die wie gesagt in Deutsch geschult werden. Ähm, der Support, die Hotline ist auch in Deutsch. They are able to speak in their local language uh, to a Constructor Tornado person uh, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If, however, the, the, the problem is obvious, that it's something that's broken, can't be fixed by maintenance, can't be fixed online, our commitment is to have someone there within four hours. We have a, a team of engineers in Germany, France. We are now working on, on Italy to have permanent engineers there. We don't just want to sell machines and walk away. You know, our commitment to the customer is long term. 